Hello, good evening. Welcome to the May 2023 graduation ceremony of the Jovian Data Science Bootcamp. Over the past six to nine months, uh, these participants have spent nearly 600 plus hours working through the bootcamp material, working on the assignments, completing the projects, uh, and these projects are industry approved. So in this graduation day, they'll be presenting these projects that they have completed over the past few months. So before we go ahead and actually start with the presentations, uh, our CEO and the lead instructor of the bootcamp and Jobian, Akash Anas would like to say a few words. Over to you, Akash. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for the graduation ceremony of the May 2023 batch of our data science bootcamp. Uh, to begin, I just want to congratulate all the graduates. Uh, it has been a long journey and you spent six to nine months and you've completed hundreds of hours, in fact, 600 plus hours of coursework. You've completed seven courses, you've done close to 20 assignments and you've built uh, real world projects uh, and you've done all these things while studying and working full time. It wasn't easy. Uh, not everyone who started it made it to the end and uh, I just want to say that this is no small achievement that you've taken time out of your already busy lives to learn something that is uh, so new that is um, and you've learned it at such a level of depth and you've built so many things using these skills uh, and I can confidently say that you are definitely among the most hardworking and driven people we've met and I am really excited and looking forward to share what you have built with the world. Um, I've seen many of your projects and I see this every time, but every batch sets the bar higher for the kind of projects that you build, for the kind of results you obtain, for the uh, amazing things that you do. And I just want to say that you're now ready to take the next step in your career. And I'm really excited and looking forward uh, to seeing how you will go into the world and the kind of uh, roles you will take up and how you will come back and contribute back, help others in the process as well. Um, so whichever stage of your career transition, job hunt, or uh, just career process you're in, I just want to say that your association with Jovian does not end here. We will be with you at every step of the way and we will uh, stay connected with you. Um, so with that, let us get started by looking at the presentations. Thank you. Thank you, Akash. So with that, let's go ahead and start with the presentations. The first person to present is Stabha Satapati. Uh, thank you, Samanvita. I'll share my screen. Hello, uh, my name is Tabha Satpathi. I have completed my engineering in computer science from Hyderabad. I'm currently working as a fraud analyst for booking.com. I have always loved analyzing data to find new patterns and trends, which is why over the last eight months, I have spent 600 plus hours with Jovian to improve my fundamentals of data science and data analysis. During this course, I have worked on three major projects. My first project was exploratory analysis on New York Airbnb. My main focus was to work on a large data set. So my data set contained 48,000 plus rows and 16 columns. I have pre-processed the data such as handling missing values and dropping irrelevant columns, etc. using pandas. I have then visualized the data using matplotlib and pyplot. Visualization helps expose patterns, correlations, and trends that cannot be obtained when the data is in a table or a CSV file. Along with this, I have also answered few interesting facts about the data, such as unique room type of each uh, apartment available, price distribution of each property, top 10 neighborhood, and most reviewed hosts on Airbnb, and many more. From visualization, I observed that 56% of the hosts in New York give their entire property to rent, whereas only 18% of the hosts are willing to share with the renter. I also see most of the hosts reside in two major cities, Brooklyn and Manhattan. The most interesting fact about all the Airbnb in New York is all the guests love to leave a review, which helps Airbnb hosts to get more guests in the future. 
my second project was on web scraping of one of the most popular job sites in india timejobs.com web scraping involves fetching it and extracting it the content of the page may be parsed searched reformatted its data copied into a spreadsheet or loaded into a database i have scraped the website to get information such as company name location of the job how old is the job posting and the skills required for the job etc using request and beautiful soup library by building some helper functions after getting all the relevant data from the website i have created a csv file to store final output Output using pandas containing 100 plus rows and six columns. I have also completed a machine learning project on forecasting Walmart sales. I have downloaded the data set from Kegel with 50,000 plus rows and 15 columns. And the goal of this project is to predict weekly sales. I have pre processed and analyzed the data, then trained logistic regression, decision tree, and gradient boosting models using Secret Learn and XGGB boost libraries. With hyperparameter tuning, I have achieved RMSC of 7016.82 with decision tree model. In this scenario, the RMSC of decision tree regression is better than XGGB and baseline. Uh, thank you. So, thank you for this opportunity. To know more about my projects, please check out my Jolin profile. Thanks, Amandita. Thank you, Staba. The next person to present is Arindam Mitra. Hi, thanks, Akash. Thanks, Sonvita. Yeah, so my name is Arindam. I am the co-founder and product director of Encore Games. I have spent over 16 years in product management in gaming. Uh, in gaming, we generated tons of user data on a daily basis, which I leveraged to improve the gameplay experience for the users. I have worked on more than 50 games that is downloaded by more than 100 million users. Last seven months, I have spent with Jovian learning data science and machine learning. And this has uh, helped expanding my knowledge of data analytics. And I learned many new and interesting topics. And I am now putting them to use uh, in my daily work. As a part of this coursework, I have uh, worked on three projects. The first one is about a machine learning project that predicts the customer churn. So this is a topic which is very close to my heart because in real business, you have to spend a lot to acquire a new user and it's more sensible to find ways to retain them. So that you do by mitigating their churn risk. So in order to do that, first you have to identify the users which are more likely to churn. So here the data set was uh, downloaded from Kaggle. It contains details are about uh, 2.5 million customers of Expresso, which is a telecom company, uh, um, mostly in uh, Africa. There are 18 attributes in each of the customer record. The goal of this challenge is to create a machine learning model that predicts the likelihood of each customer churning or going idle for 90 days without making any transaction. I have used logistic regression, decision trees, random forest, and gradient boosting machine models from scikit-learn and xgboot uh, libraries in Python. Uh, with proper hyperparameter tuning and experimentation, I have achieved highest accuracy score of 88.94% with random forest model, which I have kept for as a final contender. Well, the next one is an exploratory data analysis uh, project done on uh, you know, apps that are available on Google Play Store. Again, this data was downloaded from Kaggle. Uh, the data set has more than 50,000 apps with 18 columns. I've used NumPy and Pandas for data processing and cleaning. Some challenges that I faced doing, doing, while doing that was like some of the columns had values that has mixed off numbers, alphanumeric strings, and special characters, rendering them futile for analysis. I've used string functions and regular expressions to create new columns from these values and use them extensively for analysis. Some interesting insights that have come from this investigation was the fact that 90% of the apps on Google Play are free to download. And more than 50% of the, all the installs are coming from just four developers, uh, you know, Meta, Google, Samsung, and Microsoft. It's like, you know, winner takes it all. The last one, uh, is a web scrapping project uh, from the website goodreads.com. I've used Python with beautiful soup and request libraries. 
The goal was to scrape and get top, top 500 books from the section called best books ever in good, uh, goodreads.com. The list is spread over 100 pages with 100 books titles in each page. I have scrapped the first five pages with this project uh, to uh, list the five, top 500 titles. For each book, I uh, examine the factors such as title, author, rating, score, etc. After scraping, I have organized the data into a Pandas data frame and exported it as CSV file. Well, that brings me to the end of the introduction. Feel free to check my Jovian profile uh, and to learn more about me and the projects. And I wholeheartedly thank you, the Jovian team. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Arindam. The next person to present is Pravalika Mulledi. Hey everyone, my name is Travalika. I'm currently working in Bangalore. I did my bachelor's in architecture from Andhra University and did my master's in business administration specialized in HRM from Andhra University. With my interest to build models and machine learning, uh, for the past 10 months, I've been practicing my machine learning and data science skill through Jovian Bootcamp. I've gained an invaluable experience as a data science intern for the past six months at Fluxchart, along with two months experience as a data analyst intern at Oglands. In Jovian Bootcamp, I had the opportunity to work on several engaging projects. And today I'll walk you through a few of my interesting projects, all of which I used uh, real-time data sets. My first project is a machine learning project, which is aimed to predict the loan defaulters. The main objective of this project is to assist banks in identifying the customers who are likely to default loans and to minimize the potential losses. This is a real-time data set, which I discovered in Kaggle competitions from home credit, which consists of four lakh plus rows and 100 plus columns. I have trained several machine learning algorithms such as logistic regression, decision trees, random boost, XGBoost, uh, and LGBM classifier. And I achieved an AUC score of 0 0.783 by hyperparameter tuning, feature engineering, and cross-validation techniques, which helped me to land on the top 35% of the Kaggle leaderboard. Moving on to the next project, I conducted an exploratory data analysis on 120 years of Olympics data. This is also a real-time data set from Kaggle, uh, which consists of 3 lakh plus rows and 16 columns. I analyzed this data using NumPy and Pandas, and I created various graphical representations using visualization libraries such as Seaborn, Matplotlib, and Plotly. Firstly, I depicted the pattern of the athletes over the years, comparing the summer and the winter edition, and also the gender. As you can see, the uh, increase in the trend of the players over the year. Next, I explored the uh, top 10 medal winning nations to find out the countries who are winning the more medals over the years. Furthermore, I explored the uh, relationship between the height, weight, and age of the players across the different sports, and I discovered an optimal range of the players who tend to win the more gold medals. Interestingly, my analysis also revealed instances where athletes exceeded this age limit, but also achieved victory. Um, Coming to the next project, it's a web scraping project on Behance website. Behance is a website where artists across different domains showcase their portfolios and projects across a website. Here, I scraped the top 100 projects using the Python libraries Request and Selenium, since this is a dynamic website. And I passed the details of project title, link, creator name, the number of likes and views using small helper functions where I saved the whole data of 480 rows and six columns in a CSV file using pandas, which can be retrieved on daily basis. And this is my last project where I focused on time series analysis. This is one of my favorite projects and I'm currently working on it. This is a superstore sales forecasting project using Arima model. I dwelled into the past four years of data, identifying the trends, seasonality, and patterns over the years and I applied some statistical tests such as ADF to check the stationarity, and I trained different forecasting techniques such as Arima, Sarima, and Holt Winters method, and I forecasted the trends of the furniture and the office supplies for the next five years, as you can see in the graphs below. 
and I achieved an RMBC score of 165 with ARIMA model. Currently, I'm studying on other forecasting techniques such as LSTM, RNN, and exploring the neural networks. Um, thank you, everyone. And if you have any questions, you can feel free to reach me out on LinkedIn. And remember to check out my Jovian profile. And I would like to th extend my thanks to Jovian and the whole team who supported. Otherwise, it wouldn't be an easy game for me. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Pravalika. The next person to present is Praveen Pandey. Hello everyone, my name is Praveen Pandey. I am graduate mechanical engineer from RIT Raipur, Chhattisgarh. I have also done diploma in business application from Ikpai University, Tripura. So Recently, sorry to interrupt Praveen, your video is not turned on. Okay. No issues. Hello everyone, my name is Praveen Pandey. I am graduate mechanical engineer from RIT, Raipur, Chhattisgarh. I have also done diploma in business application from a five university, Tripura. Recently, I have worked in McNally, Bharat Engineering, and I have uh, then after I joined data science bootcamp, Jovian. In my data science bootcamp, I have worked on three interesting projects. My first project is data exploratory analysis on IPL 2022-8. In this project, I have worked on more than 5.7 million rows with 13 columns and I have analyzed this uh, data with, uh, with the help of NumPy and Pandas for the visualization and Seaborn and Matplotlib for the, uh, sorry, uh, NumPy and Pandas for the evaluation and Seaborn and Matplotlib for the visualization. In this project, uh, I found that India and its uh, main cities like Mumbai, New Delhi, and Kolkata, fans from the cities are tweeting more as compared to the rest part of the India. And the timing of the tweeting was during the innings time when the match was playing. That time fans are tweeting more as compared to the rest time, rest time of the day. And uh, users like uh, KGF and fans of India Sports, they are tweeting more. And uh, then after I found that the devices which were used for the tweeting, it was an Android. And then after the Twitter app, they, with the help of that, they are tweeting. And during that, the um, memory occupying uh, with that tweet was the text. The text was occupying more memories. And in this project, I got some interesting uh, insight is that the India and uh, uh, its main cities are uh, fans are from these cities are tweeting more as compared to the other part of the country. My next, my next uh, project is Elo Merchant card, uh, card prediction. And in this project, I have worked on more than 3 million rows with six columns to predict the, uh, predict the, uh, the model. And here I have used linear regression, ridge regression, lasso regression, and finally exibus regression. And we found that the exibus regressor is giving list, list RMEC score for the training data set. So I have applied this regression for the test data set. And we got 3.8 RMEC score after using hyperparameter and tuning it. My last two project is web scraping of world famous TV show that is a TMDB. And here I have used a uh, request library to download the data set, uh, download the web page, and uh, beautiful suit to pass the information. And here I have created a uh, get title function, rating function, and release date function. And I have framed it on data frame. And then after I have generated CSV file having 100 rows with three columns using pandas. That's all about my presentation and if you are if you want to go my profile then you may join jovian.com current funding right 
सेवन सेवन थैंक यू थैंक यू प्रवीण सो द नेक्स्ट पर्सन टू प्रेजेंट इज राहुल ए Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Rahul. So first of all, and I want to thank uh, the Jovian team for giving me opportunity to share my projects on this uh, graduation day. So currently, I'm residing in Bangalore. I have completed my BE in civil engineering from uh, University of Chennai College of Engineering. Currently, I'm working as a data analyst intern at Supertails. Uh, from past from last eight months, I have spent around eight hundred plus hours. uh with jovian to improve my data science fundamentals and uh, during this period i have worked on three projects so my first project is exploratory data analysis on a flipkart data set so these are the basic thing a company need to look on a daily basis so that uh, it will help for any uh, for any e-commerce website the cac is the nightmare of nightmare so these are the uh, key metrics a company should look on a daily uh, basis so uh, this data set ha was having around 46.7 million rows and 22 columns uh, it was basically having a two csv files i merged using pandas then created some visualization using uh, seaborn uh, and plotly so i have discovered that what are the products sold uh, in the flipkart data set and what cities it is operating and what are the top 10 brands that contributing major for the revenue and so what are the companies that only sell vegetable fruits or tea products and what are the sales per, per uh, vary that every different month so basically i came with a two uh, interesting question so the first one was uh, basically what are the products that sold uh, together on the flipkart data set and what are the discount that varies every month so my uh, the next project was a machine learning project it was a store sales forecasting so i have a, this was an ongoing kaggle competition it, uh, this data set containing a 3 million plus rows and 24 columns so i trained on uh, linear models random forest light gbm using uh, uh, scikit learn and xgboost so i got around a 0.445 rmsle after hyperparameter tuning uh, after submission of this file to the kaggle uh, uh, competition i landed around a top 15% in the leaderboard uh so my third project is uh, basically a scrape uh, web scraping so i chose the yahoo website so for this one to scrape the historical gold prices so built a uh, helper functions to uh, to get that uh, date open uh, high low and close price so i scraped all the information uh, which was around uh, 5751 rows and seven columns and stored it in a csv file using pandas so for more information you can uh, check on to my lo uh, jovian profile thank you thank you rahul the next person to present is donovan kin Uh, sorry to interrupt donovan your mic is turned off i'm sorry okay that's okay <clears throat> hi my name is donovan kim um i have over 20 years of uh, experience uh, mostly as a financial analyst um i'm currently a cfa charter holder and last year i sort of rediscovered the field of data science which i find it fascinating and, and intellectually challenging and that's when i signed up for uh jovian and that has been a really challenging and also exciting journey for me so let's get into it um to the uh my project my first project was a eda project at us wildfire from 1992 to 2015 which consists of a 1.9 million rows with the 17 columns I'm an outdoor enthusiast and over the years I sort of realized that wildfires were getting more frequent and it seems like a bigger so I decided to look into this and for this project I use uh 
Python pandas and NumPy and uh, visual, visualization tools such as Seaboard and Matplot. So if you look at this um, graph here, uh, the bottom first one, that is the average burn area per uh, wildfire, large wildfires. And you see, notice that the red um, line is increasing. And right next to it, that is the uh, frequency of the wildfires. Also, you're seeing an increase. So, yes, in fact, um, the wild, wildfires fires are getting bigger <clears throat> and more frequent. And whether that's attributed to greenhouse uh, global warming or not, that's, that's beyond the scope of this, but I sort of suspect that. So next one is um, uh, detecting credit card fraud. I worked in a um, credit card company a long time ago, and I thought I had some advantage here. So um, I look at uh, 590,000 rows with uh, 434 columns. And one of the key challenges to this project was that more than half the um, columns were missing 50% or more of the data. So no imputation became a key issue. And due to a privacy issue, they scrub all the uh, metadata. So I wasn't, I didn't know what I was looking at. Um, so I use a random force and XG boost uh, for the model building and uh, miss force for no imputation. And the uh, interesting and, and fun aspect of this project was the feature engineering. Um, there was, it took lots of creativity, which I quite enjoy in the process. Uh, basically, the model achieved about 98.5% accuracy. And looking back, it's a probably indication that the model is overfitting. So next one is uh, analysis of um, EV, electric vehicle in the US at the state level. And I use Power BI for this project. And basically, I collected the data myself, looking at eight different sources and about uh, 36 different columns with the 50 rows. And one of the few interesting um, observations that I made was that California, which accounts for 30% of all EV ownership, dominates the market. So they dominate the statistic. And then the ownership rate is highly correlated with the income level, meaning that rich you are, more likely you are to buy EV. And another interesting thing that I did is that I sort of developed a um, political leaning scoring system. And based on that, I realized, um, I discovered that Democrats are more likely to um, buy EVs than Republicans. Um, thank you for your time. Um, if you want to learn more about me, uh, please find me on Jovian or LinkedIn. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Donovan. The next person to present is Shubda Datta. Hello everyone, I am Shubda Dutta. I am from Gurugram, India. I have done my MTech in Information and Technology from Indraprastha University, Delhi. I have nine years of work experience with HCL, Accenture, and Fidelity. But for this, I had to take a career break for my family reasons. It required close to two years of learning and updating myself in the latest technologies before I could restart my career. Currently, I am working as an assistant manager in data science team at CAS24. I also joined the data science and machine learning bootcamp at Jovian, which helped me build my confidence. And I built three different projects, which I will give you a brief about. And the uh, first one is exploratory data analysis and visualization of the global terrorism data. I obtained this data set from University of Maryland for academic purpose. The size of the data set was 200,000 rows and 100 plus columns, which were analyzed using Python libraries, NumPy, Spanda, Seaborn, Plotly, and 
portfolio. I have created 10 different types of charts in these. As you can see some of them over here. The first one is a pie chart which shows us the 25 most attacked countries in the world by the terrorism. The top three were Iraq, Afghanistan and Pakistan. The next one is a cluster marker map which was created using Folium. These clusters shows the number of incidents that have taken place in these parts of the world. This one is a line chart which compares and shows us the count of the number of incidents, the number of killed and number of wounded over the five decades of data that we have been given. As you can see, there is an exponential growth in the number of incidents over the last decade. And next one is a bar chart which shows various methods of attack that are being used by the terrorism terrorists. This one is a heat map which shows how terrorism has spread to almost every part of the world. The second project that I built was web scraping popular movies and popular TV shows of the website The Movie Database. This website has different pages for different categories. I scrapped popular movies as well as popular TV shows using the Python libraries, beautiful suits and images. Highlight of this particular project was creating the helper functions in Python, which were generic and reusable at the same time. I accepted close to 12 different features, which included release date, show title, show URL, movie name, dating, release date, the genre of the movie. And the project, this particular data can be used for analysis as well as building a recommendation system. The Python file, the CSV file that I created was for 200 rows and 12 features using Python. The last project that I built was who credit default risk. It is a machine learning project and the data set was taken from Kaggle. The size of the data set was 307,000 rows and 122 columns of the training data set. The, it also had test data set, submission data set, and also six other CSV files which contain the historical data for these customers. In this case, it is a supervised classical classification problem in which we need to predict whether the customer will be able to repay the loan or not. These customers do not have any credit history. So as a baseline model, the logistic regression model was trained. But after doing some extended uh, EDA and feature engineering, I trained three different models and compared them, which were random forest, XGBOOS, and voting classifier models. This was the final XGB model, which gave me the best uh, ROC AUC score, which was the evaluation metric for this particular project. And I achieved an ROC AUC score of 0 0.771, and it required some hyperparameter tuning as well. This is the feature importance graph, which I obtained, and it shows the 15 most uh, important features, which helped me gain this particular ROC AUC score. It also has some of the features which we obtain after doing some of the feature engineering. So that is about the three projects. Thank you for your time. Thank you to the Jovian team for this wonderful opportunity. And uh, you can check my profiles on LinkedIn and as well as Jovian. And I've also built several models which relate to computer vision as well as NLP. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Shubda. The next person to present is Vaibha Malik. Hi, everyone. Good evening. All, my name is Weber. I am currently a freelance data analyst at Upwork. I have done my graduation in BTEC uh, in information technology from Merit Institute of Technology from 2014 to 2018. After that, I have done my master's in English as I was focusing on comms and the literature from 2019 to 2022. 
during the pandemic period i was a part of the indian army for some time but i had to leave because of a medical issue and i had to get a surgery so that's why <clears throat> so the second option that was in my mind was this data science and i met the jovian and i was very intrigued by it so i attended the boot camp and i'm with them from the past uh, nine uh, past one year or so and it was been a wonderful journey they have upskilled me they have given me a lot of knowledge they have built up the confidence in me to uh, come up and then shift on to the second career option that i have uh, during this time i have made three projects which i'll be presenting so the first project that i made was flight delay prediction and it was using the machine learning algorithms so the data set was picked up from kaggle.com and it had around 10 million rows and 31 columns of flight operations data like the wheels time the taxi time the arrival delay departure delay the security delay weather delays or not and such information so i used the numpy and the pandas library of python to do some analysis and i find out that the hawaiian eagle airlines and the american airlines are the best one so they have the lowest delays while you are traveling with the flights also they have been a low level of impact by the weather and more of the time has been directly associated with the wheels of time also i trained various models like the linear regression random forest and xg boost here so in this i have done hyperparameter tuning and amongst all of them the rmse was 80 seconds and the score for the test uh, or for the training set was 84 seconds so compared to that i believe it was a good one now the second project that i did was an exploratory data analysis on iowa liquor sales so i was a uh, stayed in united states and the data is for the november 2015 so in this i have analyzed and visualized 150000 rows and 24 columns now these columns had the data about the number of bells the dates the sales the store name and further more information so i have used pandas again to analyze and i found out that the initial week days had the most profit or the most sales and on the 4th of november that of 2015 there was a sales that was close to 250000 in a single day and with this 250000 dollars now the next is a bar graph and you can say that the cities that sells the most categories of liquor and sira rapids tops up the another is a tree map and the sira rapids is the city that actually sells the 67 categories of liquor so we can say that the people living in cedar rapids are fond of liquor they love to drink a lot so that's why you have the most of the options available also with my analysis i found out that there are some stores that are related to the chain of highway stores and these stores didn't even have a sale of 1 dollar amongst them one so these were the least performing stores also i compared the profit of state on a single day and when club monthly so there was a tenfold increase in the profit on a single day on an average the profit that was earned by the government was usually constant while the accumulated profit was varying because some stores were selling bottle sizes of different capacities and so on the another project that i have done was web scraping amazon's book i have done this project because i am fond of reading books so that's why i picked up this so in this i chose to uh, scrape the amazon.ins top selling books page and i used the pandas again to process the information i used the beautiful soup library to transfer the data and i then made some helper functions like the book data scrape data get books info to get title authors rating the reviews the prices and all such information then i use the pandas libraries to write down this information into a csv file of 256 rows and seven columns uh, i'm definitely glad for <clears throat> joining the jovian it was a great moment for me and also i thank jovian to give me the opportunity to present here live amongst you all so with this i end my presentation if you wish to see my profile or see my work you can connect with me here that is jovian.com/postsmith9557 so this is the initial part of my email thank you so much thank you all thank you aiba the next person to present is gautam kumar ja
Hello everyone. Uh, good evening. Um, my name is Gautam Kumacha. In 2021, I graduated from Masters of Technology degree in Aerospace Engineering at IIT Bombay. During my study, I developed a keen interest on the field of data science and machine learning. And I have worked as a data analyst in a smart helio, which is based out of in Noida. Prior to that, I have also worked as a data analyst intern in Deep Finance. From last eight months, I have enrolled myself as a in the data science and machine learning bootcamp at Julian, who were the founding stone of the Python exploratory statistics, machine learning modeling have been made. I have made three projects. The first project is exploratory data analysis of an e-commerce Brazil site, which is the oil store growth analysis. The data set has been downloaded from the Kaggle. Data set contain the 1.17 million plus rows and 55 columns, which has been spread across the seven different CSV file and later they have clubbed in a one CSV by following the data scheme. We have dig deep into the data set of each columns and we found out that the maximum number of sellers for the Brazil city have from the Sao Paulo cities and the people have liked the products and services given on the OLE stores, and they definitely want to recommend for their loved ones, and which is being shown by the excellent tool, recommenders, whom and others. Apart from that, in the month, in the year of 2016, month of September, the OLE stores have met the maximum revenues, revenues as compared to the 2018 other months. We can see that the suggested reason of the Brazil people expenditure keep on increasing with respect to the other reasons of the central part of Brazil. And the people like to spend their amounts on the oil stores by paying via the credit card over choosing the other mode of payment. My next project is to make a machine learning model to predict the earthquake damage rate. So the data set contains the 2.65 rows and the 64 columns. So this is the classification problems. So we trained the logistic regression, decision trees, and random process. Prior to that, we pre-processed the data using the scaling, uh, encoding, checking the outliers, and distribution of the each column. Since there was the imbalance in the classes, we chosen the F1 scores as a criteria, evaluating criteria, and we achieved the F1 score of 0.65 by putting the hyperparameter tuning, and we found that the random forest classifiers with the following features like max state, min leaf, and number of estimates perform the best. My third project was scripting the book to script details using a Python. So we have to script the details of a book. So the web page contains the total 50 web pages, which has been script using the Python libraries like request and beautiful so. We have built the different helper function to find the details like title, price, writing, URL, journals, and so on. And post scraping the details, we have stored that data in the form of a CSV, which has been converted by using a Python pandas containing the 1000 rows and 70 columns. So for detailed walkthrough of documentation and codes, you can please look to my profile at jubin.hire that Gautam Kumar. So thank you everyone for giving me time to present my work. Thank you, Gautam. The next person to present is Trinesh. Hey, Trinesh, uh, we cannot hear your audio. Sorry to interrupt. We still can't hear you. 
we can come back to you later. So the next person to present is Sanjay Veera Raghavan. Hello, can you see my screen? Yes, we can see your screen. All right, one second. Hi, uh, everyone. My name is Sanjay Veera Ragolu from Bangalore. And... Sanjay, we cannot yeah. see your slides. You haven't turned on your camera either. Okay, can you see me now? Yes, you're sharing your desktop. You should be sharing your screen, the slides, presentation slides. Okay. We're still seeing only your desktop. We can come back to you later, Sanjay. All right. So the next person to present is Tin Liman. Hi, uh, my name is Tan Lehman. I hold MBA in project management and a bachelor in computer studies. I have over five years of experience in the uh, insurance industry. So now I'm looking to um, take my career to the next level and explore new opportunity in data science and analytics. Um, so yeah, over the last six months, I have been working on project at Juvian Data Science Bootcamp. And I made three projects um, for the bootcamp. So my first project will be um, the idiot project that I did um, for the fraud credit card transaction that contained 1.2 million rolls and 23 columns. In order to analyze the data, um, I use Python libraries such as NumPy, Panda, and Simon. All uh, right, so before I can do the data visualization, first I need to do um, the data preparations and cleaning in order to handle missing or incorrect value. So in my ADS section, I explore the data and find patterns and um, correlations and anomaly by using various visualization techniques such as bar plot, uh, word cloud, his plot, and histogram to better understand the data. So through this analysis, I was able to identify um, the majority of fraudulent transaction occurring under the uh, category of entertainment and miscellaneous online web pages that a lot of people should watch out for. This project helped me um, develop my skills in data analysis and visualization. So uh, my second project is my machine learning project that I focus on predicting car insurance claims that contain uh, 50,000 roles in 44 columns. For this project, I use Python and the or scikit-learn library to train and evaluate several different models, including logistic regression, random forest, and HG boots. So when selecting an algorithm, I think it's important to consider things like interpretability and computational complexity. So once I've trained the model, the next step is to evaluate its performance to ensure it is working correctly. So in this part, I use accuracy score and confusion metrics for evaluations. And uh, finally, I did the hyperparameter tuning to get a test accuracy of uh, 0 0.93 with the uh, HG Boots model. Through this project, I gain a deeper understanding of machine learning algorithm and how to apply them to the real world problem. All right, so my last project is my web scripting project. I use Python and Beautiful Soup library to extract data from the website for software company. Uh, one of the challenges that I faced were dealing with different company names and the information that I need in order to grab all the required tag. Uh, but I was able to overcome this by building function to pass um, company name information, um, their focus, stars, URL, etc. Then I save all the data in 126 row and six column into a CSV file using Panda data frame. Through this project, I learned how to effectively use Panda for web scraping and how to handle different types of data. 
And that will be the end of the presentation. Thank you very much. And for more information, please check out my LinkedIn and Juvian, pro, uh, Juvian profile. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. The next person to go is Amit J. Prakash. Amit, are you sharing your screen? Okay, we can come back to you. The next person to present is Renu Verma. Uh, hi, everyone. I am Renu Verma. I did my Bachelor of Engineering in Electronics and Telecommunication. After completing my graduation, I joined Ambuja Cement Limited as Instrumentation Engineer. After that, I got an opportunity to work as a Design Engineer uh, with Heavy Engineering Corporation Limited, which is Government of India PSU under Ministry of Heavy Industries. I have also worked as a Data Science Intern in CDFI with their data analytics team. Over the past 10 months, I have spent 600 hours learning data science and machine learning from Jovian. In my bootcamp, I have completed few projects. My first project is <clears throat> exploratory data analysis on Chicago bicycle sharing data set. Um, uh, uh, the data set I have taken from Kaggle, where I sampled, analyzed, and cleaned 200 case rows uh, from 9.3 million rows of trip data with 23 columns, also created wide range of visualization like sunburst plot, geo map, heat map using Seaborn, Plotly and Folium. Few of my insights from this project are the peak hour for the bicycle rides is morning 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and evening 4, um, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. That indicate that most riders use the bike for routine activity like commuting to work and rider tend to prefer short duration trip like 5 to 10 minute trips are the most preferred trip and july is the uh, from the this sunburst plot uh, we found that the july is the most uh, popular month for the bicycle ride it has 40 times higher number of ride as compared to january um, uh, my second project is walmart weekly sales prediction uh, this is uh, a regression problem where i use data from kaggle which contained 4.3 million rows in 16 columns. After pre-processing the steps and dealing with the categorical value, I have used decision tree, random forest, and GBMs uh, using sklearn and Exibus libraries. I got an uh, I got an weighted mean absolute error of 3,944 uh, on test data set, which has placed this model on uh, top 52% on Kaggle leaderboard. Uh, my third project is scrapping Amazon books detail, where I scrap Amazon top rated book detail uh, genre wise using request and beautiful soup libraries. I extracted uh, information like book topic, book name, book URL, author name, pricing, star rating, etc. Then I converted this information into the CSV file. Uh, the size of the CSV file is 1700 rows and 8 columns using pandas. Uh, thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Uh, for more detail, you can visit my Jovian profile. That is jovian.com slash renuverma55. Thank you. Thank you, Renu. The next person to present is Vicky Sharma. <laughs>
Hey, Vicky, you need to unmute yourself. Am I audible? Yes. Hello, everyone. My name is Vicky Sharma. I'm 21 years old. You're sharing the wrong screen, Vicky. All right, we'll come back to you, Vicky. Uh, the next person to present is Prajwal. Hello, my name is Prajwal Karmar Karji. I am from Bengaluru, Karnataka, India. I have completed my Bachelor's of Engineering in Civil Engineering from Sayadri College of Engineering, Adyar, Mangalore, Karnataka, India. After completing my graduation, I worked as QAP Trainee Engineer in Purvankara Limited for four months. Along with the work, I joined Jovian for Data Science and Machine Learning Bootcamp to improve my fundamentals and skills. Over the last 10 months, I have spent 600 plus hours of coursework and completed 14 assignments and 3 projects. The following are the projects that I have worked on. My first project is on Exploratory Data Analysis, EDA. I choose the data set from Kaggle that contains all the Indian Premier League IPL data set from 2008 to 2020. I analyzed Indian Premier League IPL data with 1,93,000 plus rows and 18 columns by merging data using pandas. I have performed data cleaning and data preparation like handling missing values, dropping the nines, etc. using pandas and numpy. I have visualized data using scatter plots bar chart, pie chart, and line chart, etc. using Seaborn, Plotly, and Matplotlib libraries. In the below line chart graph, it shows the visualization of total number of matches won by all the teams where I discovered the insight that Mumbai Indians have won the highest number of matches in the Indian Premier League IPL. From the analysis, it was clear that Mumbai Indians is the most successful team in the history of Indian Premier League IPL. My second project is in machine learning with Python. It is a classification problem where I predict the IPL Indian Premier League winners. I have cleaned and analyzed Indian Premier League IPL dataset with 1,90,000 plus rows and 18 columns to predict the winner. After that, I trained logistic regressor, random forest classifier using scikit-learn where I achieved an accuracy of 0.82 and F1 score of 0.83 with random forest after hyperparameter tuning. My third project is on web scraping with Python. I choose to scrape the website flipkart.com. The project objective is to retrieve the information such as name of the product, rating of the product, price of the product, image of the product, description of the product, etc. I have passed the details using request and beautiful soup using function, generalist, product name, mobile ratings, etc. Then I stored data consisting of 1,561 rows across four columns into mobile phone details.csv or csv file using pandas. Thank you for listening. If you would like to check out my work, please go to my Jovian profile, jovian.ai slash Prajwal Karmakar. Thank you. Thank you, Prajwal. The next person to present is Sabahat Khan. Hello, thank you, Samanvita. Hello, everyone. I am Sabahat Khan. I have completed MSc in Chemistry from Hindu College. Currently, I am working as a data analyst in my Manipur, New Delhi. 
I started my data science journey with Jovian last year, where I spent more than 1600 plus hours of learning, practicing, and working on major projects. My first project is exploratory data analysis on Zomato's response. The objective of this project is to provide analysis and insights into customers' preference that can help business in making decisions. The data set contains about 71,000 plus rows and 15 plus columns. As a first step, I have performed pre-processing of data, like cleaning data, handling missing values, using pandas and numpy libraries. Then I perform univariant analysis on few columns. In the first graph, where it shows the location of restaurants with the maximum number of votes. Next is the histogram, which shows 25,000 plus restaurants accepting online orders, while 15,000 restaurants are not. Where I discovered that drinks and life, night lifetime is the most profitable restaurant among all the restaurants. My next project is machine learning project for used car purchase prediction where I have downloaded, cleaned, and analyzed an auction data set of cars, which contains 70,000 plus rows and 30 plus columns, to predict whether a vehicle is a good purchase or a bad purchase. I have trained logistic regression, decision tree, random forest classifier model. And among these, the random forest classifier gave the best accuracy, and hence I performed hyperparameter tuning on this model, which leads to the 90% accuracy. My next project is web scraping, where I extracted the data from the Amazon website. I scraped the data of top 100 selling books using beautiful soap and request library. I built reusable functions to get information like book name, author name, book price, and stored the scraped data into a CSV using Pandas. To know more about me and my project, please visit my Joven profile. Thank you. Thank you, Sabahat. Trinish, would you like to go next? Hello, Trinish. We still cannot hear you. We will come back to you. You might want to disconnect your headset and use the laptop speakers itself. All right. Sanjay, would you like to go next? Sure, Sam. Uh, let me share my screen. Uh, Rinesh, you need to stop this sharing your screen. So is my screen visible? Yes. Perfect. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Sanjay Viraragolu from Bangalore. I've completed my bachelor's degree in engineering from Anna University and have a master's degree in business finance from National University, San Diego. I have gained an invaluable experience as a data science intern at Jovian. And also I have three months of work experience as a business data analyst at Culture Hire. For the past 10 months, I've been honing my data science and machine learning skills through Jovian Bootcamp, where I had the opportunity to work and collaborate on several engaging projects. And before this, I was working in financial modeling field for five years. And uh, so let me walk you through some of my projects. And my first project is a machine learning project where we have to predict stock prices <clears throat> from JPX stock exchange data set, which includes stock prices, financial information, and option deriv derivative pricing data. This is a real-time data set, which I came across on Kaggle competition 
and it consists of more than 2 million plus rows and a few tens of columns. The main objective of this project is to understand the stock price behavior, help traders and other market participants in achieving the better alpha returns and to reduce potential losses. Using the price OHLC data and other reliable features, I have trained several machine learning algorithms such as linear regression, Dacian trees and random forests, attempted LSTM and ARIMA regresses too, and I have achieved a best RMSE score of 21.09 and a MAPE score of 0.017 on validation set using a decision tree regressor. After hyperparameter tuning, feature engineering, and cross-validation techniques such as grid search CV. And moving on to my next project, I conducted an exploratory data analysis on used car sales data in the US market. This is a data set from Kaggle again. It consists of 3 million plus rows and 66 columns. I studied this data using uh, NumPy and Pandas and I've created various graphical representations using visualization libraries such as Seaborn, Matplotlib, and Plotly. And I have analyzed uh, trends in car sales over the years Identify the top selling cities, brands, and explore the relationship between older and newer cars. And I have also investigated the impact of seasonality on car prices, like how long a vehicle stays in the market on average, and found interesting insights about different body types and colors. My biggest insight from this project was that the US East Coast is the most active when it comes to used car listings. And if you're based out of East Coast, you're more likely to have more options to select a car as compared to the West Coast. Although Houston has highest number of listings in the used car market, used car market, it was quite shocking to see that New York only had 1,065 listings. And additionally, I worked on a web scraping project on the Crypto Compare website. Crypto Compare is a platform where traders and portfolio managers can check all of their crypto assets and the relevant coin prices. I've scraped the top uh, crypto coins from each asset class using requests and Selenium libraries, since this is a dynamic website, and I've passed different details of this project using small helper functions, and I've saved this collected data of 277 rows and 11 columns into a CSV file using Pandas, which can be retrieved on a need basis, and I have also deployed this project on AWS for automated daily email updates with the help of email scheduler using Lambda function to send the scrape data over an email at least once every 24 hours. And also I worked on a couple of uh, other mini projects like uh, SQL project and Power BI project as well. And finally, I thank everyone for being patient with me and I want to express my gratitude to Akash and the Jovian team for the continuous support and guidance. If you have any questions or would like to connect, please feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn. And don't forget to check out my Jovian hiring profile for more details about my projects. And thank you all for your attention. Thank you, Sanjay. The next person to present is Trinesh. Sam, let me know if some my audio is good. Perfect. It's good. Okay. Okay. What an exposure for engine maintenance and safety maintenance of a petroleum plant. Later, I got an opportunity at HCL Technology as a lubricant engineer. Industrial oils, marine, aviation, greasers, etc. And B2C customers are most of like passenger vehicles, pickup trucks, or equipments which are working in mining sectors. So Let me see. Uh, let me. Uh, I've done a few projects here, all right. So this is my first. Okay. 
because using pandas and numpy i've used uh, uh, pl uh, plotting libraries such as seaborn matplotlib plotly express to plot all these graphs maybe a weekend or a grand festival sale or me uh, Krinesh I think there is some connectivity issue on your end your voice kept cutting in between we will come back to you Wiki are you ready to go Yes, Okay, Vicky, I think there is some issue on your end as well. We will play your recording. Thank you. All right, the next person to present is Amit J. Prakash. Hello everyone, I am Amit, currently residing in Bangalore and my hometown is in Kerala. I have done Master of Technology in Industrial Engineering and Management with a University rank. And I have done Bachelor of Technology in Mechanical Engineering. Currently I am working at Bimal Auto Agency, a Nexa dealership in Bangalore as an Assistant Manager in Training Department. I have worked as a Senior Training Instructor at Popular Hyundai and Nippon Toyota which are the leading automobile dealerships at Kerala. In the past, Eight months, I have spent 600 plus hours with Jovian to improve my fundamentals of data science and machine learning. During this period, I have done three major projects. So my first project is an exploratory data analysis on Google Play Store applications. The data set contains 4.5 lakhs plus rows and 29 columns. I have performed a pre-processing such as handling missing values, dropping irrelevant columns and the analyzed the data using NumPy and Pandas libraries. Along with this, I have designed eight interesting questions. These questions are analyzed and answered by graph visualization, which is plotted by using Seabone, Clotly, and Matplotly libraries. I found the application with the most number of installations and came to know that the majority of them are Google applications. Also, I found the application with the most installations are like applications like whatsapp messengers and the most number of reviews are social media applications like instagram and messengers my second project is a bookshop data dashboard using tableau so it's an interactive dashboard on bookshop data using tableau the data source was an excel sheet which contains 50,000 plus rows I identify relationship using joins, unions, VLOOKUP functions and pivot tables. I analyze and visualize the data book with most editions, format with most print run size, most pages, etc. My third project is a web scrapping project. So the project objective is to retrieve information from the ICC official website to scrap the test ranking page of batsmen. The ICC ranking page only provides the ranking information on one page and the personal information on the other page. If you click the player, 
So I scrapped the information from two pages using request and beautiful soup libraries. I have parsed the information such as player name, ranking, rating, date of birth, etc. I have created a final CSV file by using pandas containing 100 plus rows and 8 columns of data. To know more about me, please visit my Jovian profile. Thank you. Thank you, Amit. The next person to present is Nadia. Hello, everyone. Hello, good evening. My name. Hello, everyone. Hi everyone, my name is Nadia De Beers. I have a background in pure mathematics and I developed an interest in data science a few years back upon realizing that data science is the perfect blend of mathematics, analysis and communication, three things that I really enjoy. I've been working professionally for the past four years, writing lessons and problems for an online Australian maths textbook. Some of my interests include investing, personal finance, and female health. My most recent project utilized machine learning in order to predict future stock index prices. I used a data set of more than 50,000 rows and 23 columns. Of these 23 columns, I did a bit of feature engineering and created 16 of them, which consisted of common stock analysis values, as well as date time data. I trained linear regression, XGBoost, and LSTM models and compared the results. The LSTM models performed exceptionally well, achieving an RMSE of 0.04 for one of the stock indexes. In my next project, I did a bit of exploratory data analysis on two data science surveys. The data consisted of more than 67,000 rows and seven columns. I analyzed and plotted the data with pandas, matplotlib, and seaborn. As you can see, I used a myriad of different visuals such as heat maps, grouped bar charts, tree plots, and more. The main premise of this project was to uncover relationships between different demographics. I came to a few interesting conclusions, such as men are 4% more likely to make a salary of 100K or more than women. And a higher education leads to a higher salary, but only up to a certain threshold of money. In my next project, I scraped Yahoo Finance 200 most active stocks using beautiful soup and requests. After scraping the information, I created a function in order to process the data and turn it into a dictionary. The dictionary was then saved to a CSV file, which allowed me to create a pandas data frame of the information. From there, I did a bit of exploratory data analysis as well. Thanks so much for listening to my presentation. If you want to see more of my work, you can visit Thanks the link so in the slide. Thanks. Thank you, Nadia. The next person to present is Ashwini. Hello, good evening. My name is Ashwini Shetty. I am from Bangalore, India. I completed my bachelor's degree in computer application from Kerala Society's RLS College, Brangami, and then I worked as an operation executive in Infosys for one year. Currently, I am working as a data analyst at Gupta and Sharma. Along with the work, I joined Jovian for Data Science and Machine Learning Bootcamp to improve my fundamentals and skills. Over the last 10 months, I have spent 600 hours of coursework and completed 14 assignments. I'm going to talk about my projects that are built in this bootcamp. My first project is on exploratory data analysis. I have chosen a data set from Kaggle that contains Google Play Store data for 11 years from 2010 to 2021. The data set contains 2.3 million rows and 13 columns of data. I have performed data cleaning like handling missing values, dropping, 
NANDs, etc. using pandas and numpy and visualize the data using plotly and matplotlib. From bar plot visualization, I found out that education category has the highest number of apps. Using the pie chart, I found out that 98% of the apps were free for the users to download and use in the year 2020. Highest number of apps were released, whereas in 2010, the least number of apps got released. So we can analyze that year by year, app development process is increasing. My second project is on web scraping. I chose to scrape a website, kushals.com, which is an e-commerce jewelry site. This project's objective is to retrieve information such as product name, price, and URL of the product. I scrape the data for the categories like necklaces, earrings, bangles, etc. using request and beautiful soup. Created various functions to download web page, pass, extract, and save the information from the site. I stored this information in Kushal's collections.csv, which contains 112 rows and three columns using Pandas library. My third project is on Excel and Tableau. I used a bookshop dataset and created new sheets with a number of sales and ratings per book using the pivot table in Excel. Then I loaded the data into Tableau to analyze, create, and publish the dashboard containing the bar chart, scatter plot, horizontal bar, and the line chart. From the analysis, I was able to notice that the publisher ESP gets more number of orders every day. Thank you for listening. I would also like to thank the Jovian team for the support throughout the, this bootcamp. If you would like to check out my work, please go to my Jovian profile, jovian.ai slash ashwini shetty15. Thank you. From thank you, Ashwini. The next person to present is Rishabh Mohan. Hello everyone. My name is Rishab Mohan and I'm from Bangalore. I've completed my BTEC from CMRIT in the field of computer science. I was previously working as a data analyst intern for a company called Global Shala, and that was before I started pursuing the data science and machine learning bootcamp at Jovian. The bootcamp involved over 600 plus hours of coursework and multiple projects, uh, which I completed, which I'll brief you about now. My first project was uh, the exploratory data analysis of used cars data set. This data set was available on Kaggle and comprises well over 400,000 rows of data across 26 different columns. The data was analyzed primarily using Python libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, and Plotly, and Seaborn. I was able to visualize the data using different types of charts like histograms, pie charts, bar charts, and heat maps that would appropriately describe the data. Um, in talking about insights, I was able to derive what car manufacturers are more popular in the US amongst the demographic. I was able to determine which states in the US see a higher number of sales annually. The biggest takeaway from the project was the correlation of how the price of vehicles listed is affected by the vehicle drivetrain and also engine configuration. Yep. So moving on to my next project, which is the machine learning project. Um, the project, the primary objective of this project is to build an ML model capable of determining financial distress in customers of a bank. Uh, I've trained various models like XGBoost, logistic regression, decision tree, ridge regression as well. Um, when compared to other models, light GBM uh, model was uh, my most successful model and appropriately I decided to hyper tune it to improve its performance. This ultimately landed it in the top 30% of Kaggle results with an accuracy of 93.81%. Uh, moving on to uh, my Tableau and Excel project, uh, the bookshop data analysis uh, was done primarily using uh, Excel for initially analyzing the data and cleaning it as well. Um, used methods such as uh, VLOOKUP and pivot tables to appropriately extract the data. Once this was done, uh, we moved it to the uh, BI tool Tableau where the data could be visualized appropriately and used different types of charts to describe the data so that the information could be conveyed uh, efficiently. 
finally um, once this was done uh, the dashboard and the various sheets were uploaded online to tableau public so thank you and if you are interested in checking out uh, my projects you can do so at jovian.com slash rishabh mohan 6199I'm sorry, it's not happening. Okay, cool. We can play your video. Cool, we can play your video. Hi, this is Trinesh K, a mechanical engineering graduate from RV College of Engineering. Uh, I've started my career as a graduate apprentice trainee at Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited, where I got exposure to uh, plant maintenance of uh, engineering maintenance and safety maintenance of a petroleum plant. Later, I got an opportunity at ExxonMobil as a lubricant technical engineer. I work for HCL Tech by my client is ExxonMobil. So here I, I give technical recommendations or lubricant recommendations for B2B and B2C customers. B2B includes industrial manufacturing industries, industrial oils, marine, aviation. Uh, B2C includes passenger vehicles, pickup trucks, uh, vehicles working in mining sectors. Along with this, I've joined, uh, I've enrolled to this uh, data science boot camp from Jovian. Uh, where I, I want to explore more about machine learning so he, here i have done three projects uh, the first projects the first the first project is about data analysis exploratory data analysis on sales data where i've uh, where i've used 51020 columns data uh, this data set is analyzed using pandas numpy and uh, uh, we have used uh, some of the plotting libraries like um, Seaborn, Matplotly, Plotly, etc. Et this line graph here represents average sales. There are some peaks rate, rate, rate where the average sales, sales is very data. high due to many but, reasons. Uh, maybe for weekend, maybe month end or festival season due to uh, many other reasons. The sunburst graph here expresses sales across this. Uh, Maharashtra, Karnataka, or where uh, Mumbai has highest number of sales, then comes the Bangalore. The line graph here represents the weekly trends on sales. Monday seems to be the highest and uh, uh, Saturday seems to be the lowest one. Uh, again, a bar graph representing a discount versus products. Uh, see here, a fan, uh, uh, electronic items are having a uh, a uh, huge um, huge amount of a uh, discount and again uh, this shipping uh, method where most of the people re prefers to the standard delivery and very few prefers to the uh, same day delivery you can categorize here uh, which product used for same day delivery and you can use that to pull out some insights uh, and my second project is about uh, machine learning where i used where I try to predict uh, property price using uh, pandas. I've loaded 1 million rows of data, uh, 20 columns 
1 million rows and 20 columns of data this data set was pulled out from uh, dubai uh, government website i have trained uh, decision trees random gbm models this data set had a lot of categorical values rather than numeric values so i have trained uh, decision trees out of without uh, without tuning hyperparameter random forest was best and after tuning tuning hyperparameter gbm model was good i was able to achieve rmsc score of 260000 ad like uh, that is a dubai currency the average value of target column was almost like 12 lakhs to 13 lakhs so 60000 is quite good and these are the parameters what i've used in estimators i could increase an estimator to 500 but it is consuming time so i just restricted it to 2200 so this is a, a uh, importance data frame where uh, some of the key import key features are uh, having a lot of weightage uh, while training the model such as a meter sale price uh, types of room whether it's a studio or what's a project number for that so and uh, next i've uh, done my uh, web scraping project where i scraped formula one website for race results using python uh, i've used uh, request libraries uh, uh, to download the website beautiful soup to pass the html elements i've used uh, built to a uh, project and uh, uh, currently i'm learning uh, nlp and unsupervised machine learning uh, I'm, I'm i'm learning deep learning as well so you can contact me or you can reach out to me on on this profile this is my joven profile you can you can have a look over all my projects and uh, i hope to connect you i thank joven uh, yeah have a good day Thank you, Trinesh. The next person to present is Vicky Sharma. Hello, good evening. My name is. Hi, hi. Hello, good evening. Hi, I am Rahul Hande. Hi. Hi. Hello everyone. My name is Vicky Shabha. I am 21 years old. Currently I live in Faridabad, Haryana. I have done my graduation in the field of computer science from MDU Rohtak. Apart from my graduation, I also have been learning data science and machine learning course from Jovian Institute over the past 6 months where I have completed 600 hours plus coursework, 10 coding assignment and 3 real world projects. My first project is exploratory data analysis on flight delay data. Basically this data set contains 1.9 plus million rows, 30 columns. I have done pre-processing by using NumPy and Panda such as handling missing values, dropping irrelevant columns and encoding categorical data. Along with it, I have brought some insightful questions and these questions are basically analyzed and answered with uh, visualizing graphs used by Seaborn, Matplotlib and Plotly etc. The following questions are, what are the status of the flights, how many airlines were cancelled by each month etc. My second project on machine learning uh, the objective of this project uh, is to make prediction on tau lepton electron decay into 3 myos. This is basically a classification problem and the data set contains 67,500 plus rows, 50 columns. I have trained different models for this problem such as uh, logistic regression, decision tree, random forest and gradient boosting. With the help of hyperparameter tuning of light GPA. I have achieved 0.96 log loss which helped me to stand top 25% on the Kaggle leaderboard. My third and, the third and the last project is on web scrapping. The objective of this project is to 
scrap top company details from Forbes magazine where I have scrapped company information using the two different libraries beautiful suit and request and I have passed details such as country sales profit etc etc at the last I have created a CSV file of 2000 rows and 7 columns this is me to know more about me follow me on Jovian this is my Jovian link thank you Thank you, Vicky. The next person to present is Rahul Handi. Hi. I am Rahul Hande and I am based out of Mumbai, India. I studied electronics and telecom engineering from Mumbai University and followed by diploma in industrial electronics. I am currently working as a business officer in A Minarni India Private Limited. Over the past eight months, I have been working on data science projects in Jovian Bootcamp. Here are some projects that I have worked for the past few months. Project one, I formed exploratory data analysis on Swiggy. It is a survey conducted to understand the customer preference and customer attraction towards the restaurants that are available on Swiggy. I analyzed 148,000 rows and 11 columns using Pandas, NumPy, Plotly and Seaborn. Here are some insights, graph are showing. The first graph shows that Domino's Pizza, Pizza Hut and KFC are the maximum chain of restaurant listed on Swiggy. The second graph shows that Delhi, Bangalore and Kolkata are the cities where maximum customer has not given ratings after ordering food. The third graph shows that the Swiggy contains 54.5% of restaurant ratings between 3 to 4 and 40.3% of restaurant ratings between 4 to 5. There are very few that is 0.34% of restaurant ratings below 1. The fourth graph shows that Chinese and North Indian is the most popular cuisine preferred by customers in Swiggy. The fifth graph shows expensive restaurants that are in Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata and Delhi. The final graph shows that Chennai, Hyderabad, Bangalore and Delhi are the cities with maximum number of Domino's Pizza outlet available on Swiggy. From this analysis, it is found that 87% of customers has not given ratings to restaurants and there are only 13% of restaurants that customer has given ratings between 4.2 to 5. Here is my second project. This is a machine learning project for predicting Windows malware. This data set consisted of 89 million rows of data and 83 columns. The objective was to use inputs like product name, OS version, firewall, processor, SKU edition to predict malware of the machine. I cleaned, analyzed and trained different models like linear regression, decision tree, random forest and GPM. But the model didn't work well. So I tried hyperparameter tuning with all four models and found that random forest classifier as the best model to give test accuracy as 57.93%. Here is my third project that is web scraping on netmeds.com. The netmeds web page is downloaded using request library and I have passed the HTML source code using beautiful soap. There are multiple pages on this website with dedicated categories. So to get the details of specific categories, I have defined functions like category name, subcategory name, product name, buy price, MRP discount in order to scrape at least two pages of product details. We have scraped here for diabetes support categories where we have compiled and saved it as a CSV file containing 120 rows of data. That is 120 product details of two pages. Thank you. You can learn more about me and check out my more projects on jovian.com slash Rahul Hande 2780. Thank you, Rahul. And with that, we have come to the end of the presentations. Uh, before we have the closing words, uh, Baraj, the instructor of the Jovian Bootcamp, Data Science Bootcamp, would like to say a few words. Baraj, over to you. All right, I guess there is some technical issue. Cool. Uh, 
I will, uh, I'm sure he'll be conveying his uh, best wishes to all the graduates. Uh, first of all, we'd like to apologize for the few technical issues we've had. And yeah, uh, from my end, what I would like to say is that uh, congratulations on graduating everyone and uh, great presentations. I know how much uh, hard work and time and effort you have put into these. And it cannot be enough to summarize like six to eight months of hard work or, you know, the efforts that you put into just a three minutes or a two minutes video presentation. Uh, which is why we highly encourage everyone who's watching this live to just go and check out their, uh, you know, profiles of Jovian to see how much they have worked on. And yeah, uh, all the very best guys, like in the famous words of Sindhat Siddhant, our co-founder, uh, this is just the beginning. You have a lot more to go. Some of you are already placed, some of you are actively interviewing. So whoever is placed, feel free, uh, feel free to share your tips and whoever uh, is, you know, interviewing uh, keep practicing and yeah the, uh, yeah the success is just right around the corner uh, thank you so much for joining uh, today guys uh, until next time good day and good night